Argent Wallet. So Argent Wallet is built on the Starknet ecosystem, Starknet blockchain. So um, there have there been lots of activities on the Argent, Argent Wallet, which would also prepare you for any possible airdrop from Starknet. So I want to show you before you can use the Argent Wallet to receive funds, you have to activate it. So first of all, um, it will be best to use. I prefer to use Argent Wallet as an extension, browser extension. So um, if you want to use the browser extension on your phone, use either Kiwi browser or mine says if you're an Android user. Um, if you have a desktop, you can install the you can install the browser extension on your Chrome or other browser. The things I think I think they're supported on Firefox. You can you can check to confirm that. So but then if it's this is my sis browser now on Android, so you click on extensions when you click on extensions you go to um open chrome web store and then you search for agent you search for agent sorry yeah right it will always give you what you do search for agent so so this is it so we click on it you're going to see add to chrome and click on add to chrome so to appear at the top here agent so when you click on agent you'll see um import new wallet you see import or create new wallet so you can use your wallet that you're used to there is a wallet you're used to to import a new account like So when I added, I imported one of my accounts. Um, so you create a new account or import your account. So when you do that, you won't be um, be able to add phone or send phone. So what do you do? What do you do? You go to, you have to deposit funds from other blockchain or exchanges in order to activate, you go to create a transaction on the blockchain and then it activates the account. So how do you go about doing this now? You go to um, you can go to this Discover Starknet apps. Go to Discover Starknet apps and and then uh, you look for Layer Swap. Use Layer Swap to deposit. So instead of doing all this long search, let's just go straight to Layer Swap. So LayerSwap.io and then you, you're doing it from the bridge so what do you do first of all you connect click connect so you're connecting to the wallet then you select source from where to where so from where do you want to send you i send it from your arbitrum one wallet Ethereum wallet or okay, so it's binance your binance uh, exchange so uh in this scenario let's say you're sending from a binance smart chain wallet you're sending from a binance smart chain wallet maybe for gas fee sake but then it's your destination must be Starknet, so you decide on the point. So you can, you can have, uh, you can send Ethereum that is on the, et the Binance Smart Chain. Let's say Ethereum, send, send Ethereum from Binance Smart Chain. Now, you mustn't, uh, in order to save on gas, you don't have to send Ethereum from Ethereum blockchain. You can send Ethereum from Ethereum um, on Binance Smart Chain on a cheaper, on a cheaper blockchain. So you send um, a minimum of uh, 0 0.0028 to eight. So, or you can increase it, and then you put the address out of you. So, you're connecting. Automatically connecting the wallet. So if automatically connected the wallet, so it's going to show here this is what you're going to receive. So we click on swap now. The phone is going to move from the wallet you connected. Remember the wallet you connected is maybe the wallet that's already existing. You connect an existing wallet on your phone. That's what you should connect here. Like maybe you have um, a trust wallet or safer wallet you click here to connect 
that wallet. So you have funds there. Maybe you have funds there. That's all the same funds from there to this agent's wallet. So you click this connect and connect to that wallet. So you're sending from that wallet to this agent wallet and then you click swap now. So when you click swap now, it's going to take you to the next page where you simply confirm. So you can decide to send their wallet. You just do manually. Manually just copy the address and copy this address, deposit address now, and then you go to the wallet you want to send from. Go to that wallet you want to send from and just send and then just give it some time. Ten between 10 30 minutes, it's going to appear in your balance. So it's that simple. So when you place your balance, your, your agent wallet becomes activated, and then you can your agent wallet becomes activated and then you can go ahead and start doing whatever you want to do on your agent wallet. For example, things you can do is to go to agent and go through the apps that are already this is the, this is the appland.com is where you can find all the different kind of apps as well as applications on the stacknet ecosystem so you can go through them and view them and start them and all of those things like you know so just experience them so that's how to activate your agent x wallet so have any questions don't forget to like share subscribe and recommend thank you